Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of my Quiz Special Orders mini series. I will be going through the challenges as I finish them in my playthrough, so subscribe if you don't want to miss the next video. In this video, I will be going over one of the easiest requests called Quiz Cuisine. This request is pretty simple. You simply need to cook some food and sell them for a total of 100,000 gold. I will show you how to complete the request and then I will give you some tips and tricks on how you can complete it quite easily. Much easier than what I did, that's for sure. Alrighty, let's get started. First, you need to complete the community center and repair Willy's boat. Then you will have access to Ginger Island. Next you will have to find 100 golden walnuts to get access to Mr. Quiz's room. Finding all of those golden walnuts was pretty time consuming, but actually really fun. And in Quiz's room, you will find these very fun quests. So, I have made a huge potato farm and I have tons of potatoes just ready in a chest. Don't ask me why I have a huge potato farm, you'll have to find out soon in an upcoming video. So I thought I could use the potatoes to complete this quest by making some hash browns. The hash brown recipe can be bought at the Stardrop Saloon for only 50 gold. To make hash browns, you will need one potato and one oil. The oil was the problem. I didn't have any, <laughs> but I wanted to make hash browns. Unfortunately, I was already committed to making hash browns, so I had to buy some oil. You can buy oil at Piri's general store for 200 gold, but hash browns only sell for 120 gold. This should have been the moment where I should have realized that this whole hash brown thing wasn't gonna work. But of course, I bought 700 bottles of oil at 200 gold each, costing me 140,000 gold. Next, I brought my 700 potatoes and 700 jars of oil and made 700 hash browns. I made some sashimi too because I had fish in my fridge, but they didn't really make much of a difference. Selling 700 hash browns made a very decent 88,000 gold. You can check the progress with the quest at any time in your quest log. As you can see, I'm almost there. I was a little bit upset that after spending 140,000 gold on oil, I still did not complete the request, but it was actually fine because I had a shed absolutely filled with fresh coffee. With coffee, you can make a triple shot espresso. The recipe for triple shot espresso can also be bought at the Star Drop Saloon for 5,000 gold. And it turns three regular coffees into one triple shot espresso that sells for an impressive 450 gold. Turning my coffee into 35 triple shot espressos and selling them was enough to complete the quest. When you have completed the quest, you can confirm that it's done pretty easily because it won't be in your quest log. And if you go back to Mr. Quiz's room, you'll also see that quick coins have increased by 25. Have you seen some of the cool things you can buy with these quick coins? I am very excited to start playing around with these new items, especially the hopper. Now this is definitely not an optimal way to complete this quest, so I will give you a way to easily complete this request even with absolutely no preparation. You might just lose a little bit of gold. You can complete this quest by buying 1,667 wheat flour from Piri's general goods store and turning them all into bread. This will have you clicking a lot for a long time, but selling all of those will get you exactly 100,000 gold in cooked food. Unfortunately, you will lose about 60,000 gold, but if you're not prepared, then this is definitely an effective way to complete this special order request. You can also do this by buying coffee at the Star Drop saloon and turning the coffee into triple shot espresso. But if you use this method, you will lose 100,000 gold instead. So making bread is just better in my opinion. Of course, if you don't want to waste any gold, just plant some coffee beans and stockpile the coffee to turn it into triple shot espresso. You will need 223 triple shot espressos to make 100,000 gold. This might sound like a ton of coffee, but actually it's not that much. Remember, coffee crops regrow and can yield up to 4 coffee beans. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. I was a little lost when I got this quest and I wasn't sure what to do, hence my silly potato adventure, but it all worked out in the end. If you have already completed this quest, what did you do and how did you make the 100,000 gold? Let me know in the comments below. But for now, until next time.